Water connects all of us to the water cycle. But it's easy to forget that this resource is not limitless and that we don't get any new water. It just moves through time and space in a continuous cycle. At Rouse, we deliver water to over 100,000 residents by sourcing, storing, treating and supplying drinking water through our network to our partner councils across the region. That means we form an essential part of the managed water cycle. Let's take a closer look at the process. The sun heats up the water on land and in the ocean, turning it to water vapour in a process called evaporation. The water vapour drifts up into the air, eventually cooling and condensing into tiny water droplets, which stick together to form clouds. When they get too big and heavy, water droplets in the clouds fall as rain or precipitation into the ocean or onto the hills, bush and land. The place where rain falls and collects is known as a catchment. Rouse helps manage three surface water catchment areas, Rocky Creek, Emigrant Creek and Wilson's River catchments. Once rain has fallen on the catchment, there's a few things that can happen. It can soak into the soil and become part of the groundwater. Some people imagine this water collects in underground lakes or flows in underground rivers. In fact, groundwater can be found within fractured rock or layers of sand and gravel called aquifers. It can also be used for drinking. At Alstonville and Woodburn, we pump groundwater back up to the surface and treat it so that it is safe to drink during long periods of dry weather. Rain can also soak into the soil and be absorbed by tree and plant roots. And some of that water can travel back up to the leaves and be turned back into water vapour again in a process known as transpiration. But most rain will stay above ground, becoming what is known as surface water, flowing over the soil and down hills into creeks that flow on into rivers. If it rains over a town, then rain often flows down the road gutters and into the stormwater drains, and pipes deliver this water to the nearest creek or river. Rivers deliver water into our region's main water source, Rocky Creek Dam. Located northwest of Lismore and surrounded by the ancient Gondwanian rainforest and Nightcap National Park, the water that collects here is of very high quality. Built in 1953, this dam can hold 14 gigalitres, which is enough supply to last roughly a year if it were to stop raining. That may sound like a lot of water, but when rain is scarce, sometimes alternative sources, like the dam at Immigrant Creek, or pumping from Wilson's River or groundwater sources, is needed to make sure there's enough water for everyone. Water from the dam is pumped to the water treatment plant, where it goes through a series of processes monitored by our team of water operators to ensure the water produced is clean and safe to drink. Water from the treatment plant is distributed underground through our 410 kilometre network of pipes to reach reservoirs, places usually high above towns where water can be stored until it's needed. Some of these reservoirs might connect directly to your suburb or town, and others might connect to other reservoirs further along in the network. Either way, eventually, water from a reservoir will move through large pipes into smaller ones that pass through water meters and connect to homes and businesses, allowing you access to high quality water at the turn of a tap. The managed water cycle forms a critical part of our day-to-day -day life. Water is essential for us, our community, and our environment. We can each play a role in its conservation and together, small changes can make a difference.